looking at teams that are making uh, their second appearances into the continental stage with uh, the FC Platinum side having been uh, there before in 2012 when they were beaten by El Merek of Sudan after beating the Green Mambas of Su uh, Swaziland in the preliminaries. So they still want to be the first team to be able to carry a continental trophy. That's at least what they say. This man, of course, will tell them what more they can do in other places to be able to get to the top of football as well. The Sofapaka side as well has been there once uh, as uh, champions of the league uh, and uh, were almost going past the preliminary stages. Just uh, things not working out when they got onto this, almost to the second leg of it. So, two teams that uh, have a lot in store for themselves and two teams that are more than willing to give a performance and a half uh, that uh, would guarantee them probably their passage into the next round. The Sofapaka side has got a very good lineup. The men to watch up front include uh, Abdul Razak Fisto and uh, Anthony Ekaliani Dolo. They are so far the deadliest strikers on the team. They've got good experience in Felimu Lumba in the central defense. Shafiq Batambuze makes a first in place as well. Uh, and then they've got uh, Maurice Odipo in the midfield to control it together with Bagone. On the other side for FC Platinum, watch out for the old guns, uh, Gift Bello, Thabani, Kamusoko and Donald Goma who were there in 2012 when Platinum was playing in the Champions League and who are there in the team today. They've blended youth with uh, the experience as well. And then of course you've got to watch out for the twins, uh, Elvin Moyo and uh, Kevin Moyo who are turning up for uh, the uh, FC Platinum side. John Barraza in the substitutes bench for uh, the Silver Parker side. Of course, it's going to be a very fast game. The referee is uh, from Sudan, Mohamed Idam, Idam Ahmida. is the first assistant referee. And then uh, assisted by Ali Mohamed. So that's the traditional toss of coin and uh, choice of sides as well. And of course, uh, a memorable photo. Just to remember uh, when this was and uh, where it was taken before we get into the game proper. Some team has previously been uh, the assistant coach of the Uganda national team. Now the coach of uh, the Sofapaka side. He played in the cut and raise uh, a week ago against uh, the league champions in Kenya, Gormaya, and uh, lost narrowly. But then he had a very good build-up game against Zimbabwe's Power Dynamos. Well, oh, that is definitely a confirmation of uh, where this game is on for you on your world of champions probably one of the most experienced zimbabweans in football norman mapeza he doubles up as the under 23 team manager and also as the national team manager and had a good stint with galatasaray kamusoko in jersey 13. again another inter another clearance coming in from feli mulumba who's the captain of the side who sends it off the field of play for a throw in for platinum Trying to look for a chance for a shot doesn't come quite easy. Platinum, formerly called Mimosa FC, centrated in the midfield, but that's because balls are being won and lost in that midfield. And even when it goes up front, it's going on a long uh, shot at all times. Except that this is uh, Walter Busona who gets the interception from uh, Feli Malomba that sends it out for a throw in for FC Platinum. Platinum side forced to backpedal a bit to try and find their footing. Uh, this will be a foul coming from uh, the obstruction by uh, and uh, now play will be allowed to resume. Tabani Kamusoko will be taking the free kick. They got five, four yellow, uh, four green and white jerseys. 